Hi there, thanks for joining in and welcome to Southbridge. In this tutorial, we will create an image compressor web application which decreases the image file size significantly with the help of the browser image compression library. You can use this module to compress JPEG, PNG, WebP, and BMP images by reducing resolution or storage size before uploading to the application server to save bandwidth. If you want to follow along, Download the source code from the link in the description box below. Now let's proceed to coding. First, make sure to download the browser image compression JS file and place it to your project folder. Now let's proceed to our HTML document. We will set our title into image compression app. Then we will reference the module together with our CSS stylesheet. Now we will create an input element with the type of file that accepts all image extensions. Then we'll create an image tag with an ID of output. So now, we will create a hidden container that will be only visible when the compression is done, it will display the file size of the original image and of the new compressed image. Next is the hidden download button that will only show if the compression is successful. Then we will set the file name as output. Lastly, let's include our custom JavaScript file. We are done with the HTML code, now let's proceed to the CSS document. I will not explain the following CSS rules as you can set your own custom styles. Now in our JavaScript, we will get the image element and we will create an async function to the onChange event listener. Let's get the file as image file. Then we will set the options for the image compression object. We're setting the size, max width or height and set the web worker to true. Next we will compress the image and supply the image file and options. After that, we will display the original size and the new size. We will just copy and paste the readable bytes function. Then let's set the output image to the output image element. Next step is to show the hidden element we've set in our HTML document.
Now for the last step, we will set the source of the download link. So now we can test this code in the browser. So that's it. We have created an image compression web app. Thank you for watching.